I'm Kaylee Buchanan and welcome to Around the Region. This week we officially bid goodbye to our copper coin, the penny. Now last year when Finance Minister Jim Flaherty made the announcement, we met a local man from Vermilion who actually wrote a song about it. And right now we're going to start off the show by going back into the ATR archives to hear the death of the Canadian penny by Vermilion's own Dennis Garrick. So see your penny pick it up, good luck's at your door. Now luck's all gone, cause there's no pennies anymore. Our federal government decided to eliminate the coin because it actually costs 1.6 cents to make each one. One morning at work, you know, I basically heard on the news, hey, you know, the government's thinking about getting rid of the penny. And I thought, oh, okay, well, you know, what if I write a song that sort of metaphorically uses the penny disappearing as uh, sort of a, a story about how simple things in life have disappeared, you know, be it, you know, the corner uh, confectionery or uh, a lot of other things just don't exist anymore. It used to be part of my life, you know, when I was growing up. And uh, like I said, I'm one of those type of guys that, you know, doesn't have a cell phone or whatever, I don't want one. Uh, it just seems complicated. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> the pennies from heaven can fall from sky and thoughts for a penny can kiss them goodbye a fitting song for the funeral of our one cent friend but like all classics the penny will continue to live on long after its death billions of them are still in circulation for businesses, that means rounding up price totals to the nearest five cent increment but anything bought with plastic will stay the same and for charities we will still be accepting donations of pennies. So you can bring those unwanted pennies into the ReStore and we'll turn those pennies into affordable housing for local families. Habitat for Humanity's Penny Drive was a cross-Canada initiative. 10 million pennies, or $100,000, is the cost of building one Habitat home. The Penny Drive officially ended last year, but we have never stopped accepting donations. So we're still accepting any donations, especially pennies now. You can donate your pennies to Habitat for Humanity because it's an investment in the community. Um, with Floydminster being one of the fastest growing communities, um, affordable housing is definitely a key issue and so you can make an investment in your community and help those local families. And Habitat sees both sides of the copper-plated coin as a charity and as a business through their ReStore. Uh, we haven't made any official decisions on whether we'll change our current prices, but we'll definitely be encouraging customers to donate their pennies um, and maybe just dropping the price down to the nearest five or ten and um, donate the pennies to the penny jar. If you're looking to exchange your pennies, several local banks, including the Royal Bank in Lloydminster, will continue to accept them as legal tender. Even if they just have one roll of pennies, which is 50 cents, we'll give them a couple of quarters. So bring in any amount, we can certainly help out with that. We have also a program right now for larger quantities of pennies. And uh, we've got bags that are available for clients to put big amounts of loose pennies in, up to $25 in each bag. So we've got lots of ways to make it simple for them. RBC has also partnered with Free the Children and is accepting pennies on their behalf. People can go in, grab uh, a penny bag, or they can bring in this week any container that they have, um, piggy banks, whatever, and donate it to uh, Free the Children, which is going to help fund um, water projects. And so they're hoping to provide clean water to over 100,000 people through this initiative this year. And as the penny enters retirement, local residents don't seem overly upset about the change. You know, it's it's so old and whatever, you know, it's just, it's done with. As far as... It being phased, oh no, I, it's, it's all right. No, I think it's a good change. Get rid of the small denominations. As a consumer, no, they weigh down my wallet, so. <laughs> now, whatever your thoughts are on the demise of the penny, I know a lot of local organizations right here would really appreciate you donating the copper coin. And coming up after this quick break, we're gonna take a look at some shuffling that was done in cabinet this past week.